and this will give me another question like so. So this is here as question, basically back to question one again. We will finish this stream off with these two questions here. So this is what value of x, what value must be added uh, to x squared plus x to make it a perfect square trinomial. So I have x squared plus x, and I want to make it a perfect square trinomial. So what am I going to add here? Plus c to make it a perfect square trinomial. So in order for us to do that, again, we are simply just, this is simply just another completing the square kind of question here. This is completing the square, right? Um, you can think of this as completing the square, or you can think of this question as, um, as uh, uh, what value would, would, again, what value of C in order to make it a perfect square trinomial, right? So I think of it as completing the square because I'm taking, um, because completing the square requires a perfect square trinomial for us to simplify it. So if I have to do completing the square, I have x squared plus x plus C here. I'm looking at the B term here. The B term here is simply just one, right? So my B here equals one. What I'm gonna do to this B term, I'm gonna divide it by two and square it. So B here with the new the new value here would be uh, one divided by two, which is half. And then I'm gonna square this value here, which would equal one fourth, right? So in order for us to complete the square here, I would have to put x squared plus x plus one over four minus one over four here. So that in order for us to do that, then we would get um, we would get our perfect square trinomial here. So assuming that this here equals zero and this here equals zero, this guy here, I'm gonna do this in blue, this would be our perfect square trinomial here. And this will give us simply just x plus half, uh, half of x here squared minus one fourth would equal zero. And this here would be uh, my solution for, uh, or sorry, this, this is not my solution here. It's x actually just plus half here. Half squared minus one fourth equals zero. This here is my perfect square trinomial for us to add uh, to get a vertex form. So I'm completing the square here, which means therefore I would have to add here. My value to, to add here would be one fourth here to make it a perfect square trinomial. So this here, therefore one fourth must be added to the expression. So the resultant trinomial is a perfect square. So this solution again here is correct. Correct, great analysis here. So again, I, the, the takeaway here is when we're completing the square, we're taking our B term, we're dividing it by two, and then we're squaring the term, and then we're adding it to both sides for us to create a perfect square trinomial. So again, if we have one here, dividing it by two is half, square that is one fourth, and we're basically adding one fourth to both sides for us to figure out uh, whether or not, um, to figure out basically uh, uh, what, what number to add it to this, uh, to this, uh, kind of binomial here to figure out to get a perfect square trinomial. So the solution here is correct. That's great. And then our